Hey everyone, Megan here. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I am Megan. I do mommy videos. I do Christian faith filled videos. I do beauty videos and I hope that you enjoy them. And if you do subscribe and let me know that you like this video so I know to make more and turn on your notifications because then you will know when I post. So today's video, I'm just going to dive right into it. It's how I raise my children, how to influence them in positive Christian ways and instill Christian values into their life and teach them how to act in their daily life. So let's get started. Okay, so this video is going to be about how I raise my kids, how I instill Christian values in them, things that I do a little bit differently than the average parent or the more common parent. Um, I will say a lot of the Christian YouTubers that I follow give a little disclaimer and I feel obligated to do the same. I am not trying to condemn or convict anybody if you do not do your parenting like I do. I'm not saying my way is the only way or the best way. I just want to throw that out there. So please don't think that I think I'm better than anyone else because I am learning as I go. Even though I have three children and I've been through the toddler stage three times doesn't mean I know how to do toddlerhood perfectly or parenthood perfectly. That is all I will say on that. But um, I jotted down a few things that I thought were maybe a little different than the average parent because I am a Christian parent. So number one, this part is common to everyone. Don't sweat the small stuff. We all know this. But the side portion of that is don't sweat the small stuff and make sure that when you're disciplining your child, it's not for control purposes, but it's truly for their own good. And that's super hard. When my child is arguing back at me and I want to make sure that they know I'm in control, I have to like really pull myself back and say, okay, this isn't okay, but am I trying to be alpha or am I trying to better their livelihood? Am I trying to teach them a valuable lesson? So there are some times that we need to let things go because it is a matter of control and I am just trying to be controlling over my child instead of what teaching them what is truly best for them. So that is one thing that I feel like I do a little bit differently is I just try not to um, have a power struggle with my child, which I think is really really hard to do because you want to make sure your child knows that you are the boss and I think that's important but the power struggle versus the morals like you kind of have to weigh what's what's applicable at the time number two manners okay so we all raise our children to have good manners that's no you know surprise I mean, some maybe don't, but anyway, <laughs> um, we all raise our children for the most part to have good manners, but I try to take it a step above by having them do more of the old fashioned things. Hi, Dad. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. No, sir. Holding doors open. And I will tell you that I have had comments before when out in public that um, people say that I'm raising my children like little soldiers and that is not the goal. Again, I'm not trying to have a power struggle over them. When I teach them yes ma'am and no sir and things like that, it's just so that they can get used to showing extra respect and extra kindness to others because that's a lot of what we have as values as Christians is to respect our elders and to show extra kindness and you know things like that. So I really just feel like starting them young is one of the best ways to do that. The third thing is we have Bible time. So every night before bed we read a Bible story and we make sure that it's not just like a tall tale but it's applicable to their lives and we ask them questions and we see what they can come up with for answers and I just feel like it's creating more of a relationship with God as opposed to 
just hearing a story as if it was any other story or any other show or whatever. So I feel like that's super important to teach them that these things really did happen and it's not just like a Disney movie where we tell this grand story and everything is tied up in a nice neat bow. And I think it's super important to like not teach your children to do things out of ritual but out of relationship. Like we don't want to just every night do Bible stories because every night before that we've done Bible stories. We do uh, every night Bible stories because it builds a relationship with Christ and I feel like that's super important. Okay, so number four is we pray before every meal and we pray before bed and we pray there are literally elephants up there. <laughs> the kids were running around like crazy upstairs. Sorry about that. So we try to instill prayer time, not again because of ritualistic purposes, but because we're trying to create a relationship for them. Like we're trying to make them have a separate relationship and not just say, this is what you have to do, but we're trying to create a personal relationship. Like my son, he has nightmares a lot. He's four years old. It's super common, but we go up in his room and we hold his hand and we make sure that he knows that um, he can pray to God when he's scared and that God is with him and we pray for protection, things like that. So we try to make it applicable to life. Like if you're scared, you can pray. If you're thankful for your meal, you can pray. If you're going to sleep and you want to have good dreams and just feel fully rested, you can pray. It's not about like, oh, it's seven o'clock. We have to pray now. It's just, it's more than that. It's more than that. It's creating a relationship. So I think that's really one of my favorites. So um, let's see. Oh, the last one I'll say is um, screen time. So we have subscribed to Minnow TV and this isn't a promotion or anything like that. I just want to share with people because I feel like a lot of people don't know about Minnow TV. It's an app you can get um, just like any other app like, you know, on your Roku or Apple TV or whatever and it has all sorts of faith filled shows and it's super cute it goes from like elementary school right up to like the tween years and there's hundreds of shows like hundreds so if like your kid isn't super into one then you have so many other options but I think it's super important to um, fill their minds with visuals that aren't just of this world you know like showing them Bible stories and things like that it's super important and I think in this society, we have, you know, the, the rating system, G, PG, PG 13, R, you know, all that stuff. And it's like, okay, once you reach a certain age, anything goes. You can watch anything and whatever, not a big deal. But in a Christian household, it's like, no, you fill your mind with like pure thoughts. And just because you're old enough doesn't mean you can watch things that are sinful. So when we have our children watch TV, we make sure it's more like emotionally their age level and not so much like, oh, there's only four swears so they can watch it. You know, like it's, it's more like if they're emotionally ready and it's a pure show, then we will let them watch it as opposed to the typical like rating system in the world. So I hope that makes sense. But anyway, those are the things that I find that we do differently. There's also quite a few others, but I wanted to like just, you know, dig in a little bit to the basics. And if you have any questions for me or if you have any thing that you do or have your child watch or whatever that's just different than the standard parent then let me know below I would love to hear what you have to say how you raise your kids and I think we can all learn from each other so that wraps it up thank you so much for your time thanks for watching and I will talk to you soon bye friends